When the lower leaves on your succulent start to die or look bad, it can put you into a panic and cause you to find all kinds of remedies to try in order to save your succulent. But there might not actually be any cause for alarm. In this video, I'm gonna show you what the lower leaves of your succulents are telling you and whether or not you actually have a problem. First off, let's talk about dried up leaves on the bottom of your succulent. This is actually something that's really normal for succulents and all of the leaves at some point are going to die. Just like with any other plant, the lower growth will eventually die off and make room for the new growth. Sometimes this happens in a month, sometimes it happens in a few months or maybe over the course of a year. It can vary depending on the type of succulent. However, if you notice that an unusually high number of leaves are shriveling up and dying, it's likely there is something else going on. And if the leaves are dry, it's most likely that your succulent isn't getting enough water. In this case, you'll want to gradually increase your watering frequency, making sure that you're using the soak and dry method to ensure your succulents are getting a good deep watering and then have that period of time to dry out to enable really healthy root growth. Don't make any drastic changes to your watering frequency. Over the next few weeks, your succulent will begin to look better and the new growth will perk up and be healthy and firm you'll notice that the lower leaves on the succulents that are already dried up, they won't recover or come back, but you may notice new growth on the stem where those leaves used to be. If you find that instead of drying up, the lower leaves on your succulents are turning yellow or translucent, this is a sign that they're getting too much water. Your first inclination may be that you're watering it too frequently, but using a dense soil or a soil that doesn't drain well can actually be just as problematic. You'll first want to make sure that your succulent is in a well-draining soil. If it is, start to gradually reduce your watering frequency. It's probably a good idea also to leave your succulent for about a week without watering, making sure that soil is completely dry from top to bottom. After letting the soil dry out completely, you'll want to make sure you're watering less frequently. You may not want to make drastic changes, again because that can be problematic, but you will want to make sure you're allowing a few more days between each watering. If your succulent is not in a well-draining soil, you'll want to repot your succulent and make sure you're using a soil that works really well for succulents, like the Bonsai Jack mix that I recommend. When you're replanting, you wanna make sure that the succulent roots are dry and also that the soil you're going to be placing them into is dry. Once you've repotted, let it sit for two to three days before you start watering again. This will give it adequate time for the roots to heal. It'll give it a good dry spell so that it's ready to receive more water. You can probably use the same watering frequency that you were before, but this new soil will allow your succulent to get that dry period it needs. If you're not sure how frequently to water, make sure you watch my video on how to water succulents and learn more about the soak and dry method that I recommend. Whether your succulent leaves are dried out or yellow and transparent, just keep an eye on your succulent and make sure that as you make adjustments, things are improving. Those lower leaves might not look any different and for a little bit, a few more leaves might start to die. But as long as the new growth is healthy and firm and looks vibrant, your succulent is improving and the watering changes you've made are working. Also make sure that you remember that the lower leaves on succulents will die eventually, so you wanna look at the new growth and the upper growth to make sure it's healthy before you make changes and assume that there's a problem. I'd love to know if you tend to overwater or underwater your succulents and what signs you've seen that your succulents need more water. If you wanna make sure you're really paying attention to the signs your succulents giving you that it needs more or less water, be sure to grab my free cheat sheet below. It'll show you pictures of the different signs and symptoms that your succulent needs more water or less and show you them at various stages. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and share it with all of your succulent-loving friends. And I'll see you next time.